More red lyrium. Charming.
high lands. Lands up high.
Come on, Krim. I'm working my ass off trying to get you to see that move. You still got plenty of ass left, Chief. Ah, uh, Your Worship. Glad you came by. I got a letter from my contacts in the Ben Hasrath. Already verified it with red. Do you want to discuss this alone? Not like I was hiding it from my boys. Besides, right now, I need to hit something. You know they've got training dummies, Chief. The training dummy might actually defend itself against the shield bash. Anyway, the Ben Hasrath letter. What did the letter say? The Ben Hasrath have been reading my reports. They don't like Corypheus or his Venatori. And they really don't like Red Lyrium. They're ready to work with us. With you, boss. The Kunari and the Inquisition joining forces. That would be an unprecedented offer if I believed it was legitimate, which I don't. Now, ordinarily, that would be the way to go, but they've identified themselves. They're not running a game on you. They found a massive Red Lyrium shipping operation out on the coast. They wanted us to hit it together. Talked about bringing in one of their dreadnoughts. Always wanted to see one of those big war ships in action. Did you see that? Go get some water. They're worried about tipping the smugglers, so no army. My chargers, you, maybe some backup. What does this alliance really get us? They wouldn't use the word alliance if they didn't mean it. Naval power. More Ben Hasrath reports. Kunari soldiers pointed at the Venatori. It could do a lot of good. You don't seem entirely happy about this. No, I'm good. It's... Uh, I'm used to them being over there. It's been a while. I thought the Kunara wanted to extend their reach to the whole world. Yeah. Just didn't think I'd see it. Look, the Kune answers a lot of questions. It's a good life for a lot of people. But it's a big change. And a lot of folks here wouldn't do so well under that kind of life. I guess it's not like we're converting. This is just us joining forces against Corypheus. On that front, I think we're good. I think the Inquisition could use some help from the Kunari. Good. I'll pass on word to Colin and Red. We can set up the meeting whenever you're ready. Hello again. Inquisitor? Inquisitor! Come, have a drink. To killing a high dragon like warriors of legend. What exactly am I supposed to be drinking? Maras Lok. What does that mean? It means drink! <laughs>
<laughs> I know, right? Put some chest on your chest. Um, mm, that little gurgle right before it spat fire. And that roar. What I wouldn't give to roar like that. The way the ground shook when it landed. The smell of the fires burning. Toss it a thon hal sam. You know, Kunari hold dragons sacred. Well, as much as we hold anything sacred. <laughs> Here, your turn. That thing you just said, you shouted it during the fight, too. What does it mean? Oh, Tarsadathan Halsam. Closest translation would be, I will bring myself sexual pleasure later, while thinking about this with great respect. You shouted that while it was breathing fire at us. I know, right? Mm. <coughs> yes, the second cup's easier. Most of the nerves in your throat are dead after the first one. Atashi, the glorious ones. That's our word for them. Atashi. Why do you think the Gunari think of dragons that way? Well, you know how we have horns. We kind of look more dragony than most people. Maybe it's that. But a few of the Ben Hasrath have this crazy old theory. See, <clears throat> the Tamasrans control who we mate with. They breed us for jobs like you'd breed dogs or horses. What if they mixed in some dragon a long time ago? Maybe... drinking the blood, maybe magic, I don't know. But something in that dragon we killed... <sighs> spoke to me. It's a shame we had to kill the dragon. Damn good fight. Dragons are the embodiment of raw power. But it's all uncontrolled. Savage. So... <laughs> They need to be destroyed. Taming the wild. Order out of chaos. <laughs> Have another drink. <coughs> <laughs> nice. To dragons. <sighs> <coughs> <coughs> So whatever this is and the hangover it's going to give me tomorrow. Anan! Man, those serving girls are frisky. Gracious lady bit. <laughs> Faith seeks a friend in compassion, cautious, careful, too much grey, but growing.
All right. Our Kunari contact should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Iron Bull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. Well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this venatory cult. Yes. Filthy, decadent brutes, the lot of them. I'm certain life would be much better for all of us under the Kyun. It was for me, after the Canari rescued me from slavery in Tevinter. I was eight. The Kyun isn't perfect, but it gave me a better life. Yes. One free from all that pointless free will and independent thought. Such an improvement. The Imperium and the Kunari both have their problems. Fair enough, I suppose. I'm not here to convert anyone. All I care about is stopping this red lyrium from reaching Minrathos. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose the Heron and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatory mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatory, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? Mm, don't know. I've never liked covering a Dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatory mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? There might be Venatory mages on the ship as well, if the Dreadnought can't handle them. It's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship, and they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes but it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. Just waiting on you and Hisrad, or Iron Bull, I guess. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Saharon? Yes. He led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And you decided to start following the Kyun after that? What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been. 
but he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean in Saharon longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. It sounds like following the Kun hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family who were still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kun didn't tell me what I wanted to hear, but I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kion that I don't like are never going to change. How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. We're a little harder to spot. I've worked in Orle and Navara, but only for a few years now. What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kyun, to get past justice, to purpose. Some days are still difficult. No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Kunari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Kunari troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You'd get more use out of our ships, I imagine. And the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spymaster. Do you have a minute to talk about the Kyun? I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the inquisitor's opinion of the Kyun. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kyun to judge it. I think you have to be raised under the Kyun for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or... Well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. Let me know when you're ready. I'll be waiting here. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to come in. Understood, Chief. Remember, you're gonna want a volley to start, but don't get suckered into fighting at range. They've got mages. It's all right. We've got a mage of our own. I'm not a mage! Get in close and take their enchanter down before he takes over the battlefield. He'll be dead before he knows it. Just... pay attention, all right? The Vince want this Red Lyrium shipment bad. Yes, I know. Thanks, Mother. Kunari don't have mothers, remember? We'll be fine, Chief. All right, Chargers. Horns up! Horns up! Ready whenever you are, boss. I'm ready to head out, Bo. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move! You gave your charges the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship.
Much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then. Just like old times. <laughs> Be careful. My agent said to expect opposition ahead of the main camp. We've all done this a few times, Gat. You've been living outside the Kuhn for years now, Iron Bull. Just wanted to make sure your reflexes hadn't gotten as soft as the rest of you. Ouch. Say you're a demon. Heart hammering, brush of breath at the base of my back. He licks his thumb before turning the page. He never finished. You don't have a demon inside you. You don't have to wonder anymore. Stop. Just stop. Cole, knock it off. People who follow the cune get nervous around demons, remember? Bull, how can you work with a demon? He's all right. Clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See them down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the Dreadnought. That brings back memories. Nice one. Crap. The Chargers can't stand against that kind of force. No, they can't. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatori retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashoth. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashoth. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't! They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them?
I regret that we couldn't protect the Dreadnought. So do I. No way they'll get out of range. Won't be long now. Bo, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples. Nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishoth ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. I'm proud of you, Bo. <laughs> Thanks, boss. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those events. Good to see you, Inquisitor. That fight against the Venatori was a bit dicey. We knew that you and the Chief had our backs, Your Worship. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sackmead for the charges tonight. Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. Sorry, Chief. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. Welcome back. Our heroes strode the winding road, defiant of the vine. You wanted to see me? Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... Ah. Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. You knew the assassins were coming? Little change in the guard rotation tipped me off. Why didn't you tell me ahead of time? You go through years of Ben Hasrath training to hide facial expressions when I wasn't looking. See? Like that. If I'd warned you were the guards, the assassins would have been tipped off. Are you all right? Fine. Hurt myself worse than this fooling around in bed. What if they used poison? Oh, they definitely used poison. Sarkamek. Liquid form. If I hadn't been dosing myself with the antidote, I'd be going crazy and puking my guts up right now. As it is, it stings like shit. But that's about it. Are you interested in getting some payback? Against who? The entire Ben Hasrath? Besides, this wasn't serious. Sending two guys with blades against me? That's not a hit. That's a formality. Just making it clear that I'm Talvashoth. <sighs> Talva fucking Shoth. You acted like a Talvashoth for years. That didn't change you. Neither does this. That was just a role. This is my life. As one of those. I've killed hundreds of Talvashoth in Saharan. Bandits, murderers, bastards who turn their back on the Kuhn. And now I'm one of them. You're not a Talvashoth. That's a Kunari word, and you don't follow the Kuhn any longer. Your Iron Bull, mercenary captain for the Inquisition. I can live with that. <sighs> anyway, I'll get this cleaned up and let Red know what happened. Boss, whatever I miss, whatever I regret, 
This is where I want to be. Whenever you need an ass kicked, the Iron Bull is with you. Yes? Nothing to report, sir.
Where'd you learn to hammer? 